I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on understanding some basic arithmetic. Well, now in this video, discuss in details how to add or subtract fractions. I have taken examples with improper fractions and mixed numbers in this particular video. So there are many examples. The first two, you will notice that we have the same denominator. So straight away, you can add or subtract the numerators to get your answer. Here we do have a mixed number, 1, 2 over 5, right? A combination of a whole number with a fraction is the mixed number. And we have an improper fraction, 7 over 3. It is improper since the numerator is higher than the denominator. Perfect. In all of the examples, you will notice that the denominators are different. So to add or subtract, we need to find the lowest common denominator, which is normally the lowest common multiple. Once we have equivalent fractions with the same denominators, we'll perform addition and subtraction. At times, you may have to look into the rules followed for multiplication of integers, right? Now let's begin to solve them one by one. You can always pause and then answer these questions before looking into my solutions. So we'll begin with part A, B, where we have common denominator. First one is 7 over 3 minus 4 over 3. Since the denominators are common, we can write straight away 7 minus 4, which is 3 over 3. Now 3 over 3 is number 1, so we get 1 as our answer. In the second one, we have to add fractions, improper with a proper fraction, same denominator. You could think about writing this as 1 plus, so this is 1 whole, 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5, right? So that is to say 1 whole and 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 over 5. So that becomes the result of this particular addition. Is that clear to you? So if the bases are same, it is a very simple process. You never change the denominator. It always remains the same. The numerator gets added or subtracted. The next two examples, 4 plus 1 over 4, right? 4 whole numbers, right? So you could directly write this as 4, 1 over 4 as your answer. Perfect. So that is it. Here you have to subtract. Now we will show you two different strategies to do this subtraction, right? So a simple strategy will be we have 5, right? Think like this. We have 4 plus 1 as 5 and from this 1 we'll take away 1 out of 5, correct? So that is, we have four holes, and when you take one-fifth away, you are left with four-fifth. So we get four over five as your answer. Now, these strategies which I am talking about are very good for a multiple choice test question, and that will help you. Now, here is an alternate method which we will normally use, right? So let's do the alternate method. Now, alternate method is actually a default method. So, first step will be to have a common denominator. Think 5 as 5 over 1 minus 1 over 5. Now, we know that we need to make this denominator as 5. So, I'll multiply by 5, getting 25 over 5 for the first term. And then we'll take away 1 out of 5. Now, 25 take away 1 is 24. So, we get 24 over 5. This is improper fraction which can be written as a mixed number so to write this we'll divide 24 by 5 right let me show you here so we'll now divide 24 by 5 which goes 4 times 4 times 5 is 20 remainder is 4 so we get 4 holes 4 over 5 the same answer is that clear to you so these are extended steps which may be required by some of you, right? So I hope the steps are clear. So you could adopt any of these methods to solve such questions. Now let's look into part E and F. Now here we have 3 and 6 
as our denominators. So what is the lowest common denominator? We are looking for a lowest common multiple of 3 and 6. It is definitely 6, right? So we need to change the denominator to 6. So we have 2 over 3, I mean 2 over 3, minus 1 over 6. To make it 6, I will multiply both by 2, right? So multiply and divide by 2. It is as good as multiplying by 1, which will not change the fraction. So we get here 4 over 6, minus 1 over 6. 4 minus 1 is 3, so we get 3 over 6, correct? Now, since we have got 3 over 6, it can further be reduced and simplified and written as half. So, 1 over 2 is your solution. Clear? The next question here involves integers, right? With the fractions. So, let's rewrite this. We have 2 over 3. When you multiply plus with minus, you get minus 1 over 4. Now, here, what is your lowest common denominator? Well, it is 12, right? 4 times 3. They have no common factors. So we'll make each denominator as 12. We could sometimes write this with a common denominator, a straight line. So that is also a different approach, but very useful. To make this as 12, we have to multiply by 4, both numerator and denominator. 4 times 2 is 8. And here, we need to multiply by 3. So we get 8 minus 3. Sometimes we say cross multiply, right? So we do this cross multiplication to get our result. So cross multiplication is also a technique which is often used in solving such questions. Is that clear to you, right? So as we move along, we'll learn a few more methods. So here, 8 minus 3 is 5. So we get 5 over 12, which is a proper fraction. And it is also lit written in the most simplified form. Perfect. Now, the next two questions are shown here. i like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Both these questions involve integers, right? So first, let us uh, rewrite this. We have this minus 2 over 5. Here, this is also minus 3 over 10. The common denominator is 10, right? So we could make 10 as multiplying these two by 2, right? So we get minus 4 over 10 and minus 3 over 10. So minus 4 minus 3 gives you minus 7 and we get minus 7 over 10 as our solution. Is that clear to you, right? Now in this case, plus and minus makes it negative. Whenever we are given negative in numerator or denominator, it is a good practice to write this as negative 4 over 5. Is that clear to you, right? Plus and minus will also give you negative 3 over 10, right? Now, the lowest common denominator can be 10. I can also write the same thing as 10, which is a common denominator. To make this as 10, I have to multiply by 2. So I get minus 8, and here it is already minus 3. So what we get here is minus 11 over 10. However, 11 is greater than 10. This is improper fraction. We could write this as a mixed number. Dividing by 10, we get one whole, negative of course, one whole, remainder will be 1. So we get 1 over 10 as our answer. So this was simple. We did easily. However, sometimes you may have to do long division to find this answer, right? So 10 goes this. So you could have done that on the side. Is that clear? Now let's get ready with some uh, slightly difficult questions. Here we have negative 5 over 6 minus minus 3 over 2. So let's rewrite this. We get minus 5 over 6 minus and minus is plus 3 over 2. The common denominator here is 6, right? So we get negative 5. Here, to make 6, I have to multiply by 3. So we get plus 9, right? So what we are doing here is we are multiplying this by 3, right? and dividing by 3. That is how you get 6 in the denominator, 9 in the numerator. Now, 
9 minus 5 is 4, so we get 4 over 6. 4 over 6 can be divided by 2, and we get 2 over 3 as the lowest term, right? So it is important to always simplify the result to the lowest term as mentioned in the question. Now, even if it is not written here, you have to simplify. That is important to understand. The next question here is minus 1, 5 over 6 plus minus 3 over 8. So let's rewrite this. Minus 1, 5 over 6 minus 3 over 8. So we got, we took care of the integer part. Now let's convert this to improper fractions. So we could write this as 1 times 6 plus 5, which is 11, right? So 11 over 6 minus 3 over 8. Now we need to find the lowest common denominator. Now here is a technique to do it. You could do ladder division, right? So in ladder division, what we do, we take the denominators, which is 6 and 8. We try to divide this by common factors. 2 is a common factor. So we get 2 with 3 times and 4 times. Now we have no common factor. So we can say that the LCM can be 2 times, 3 times, 4, which is 6 times 4 as 24. So we get 24 as our lowest common denominator. Now to make it 24, I have to multiply this by 4. So we get minus 44 over 24. And here I have to multiply by 3. 9 over 24. Clear? Now, both negatives will give me a higher negative number. Minus 44 minus 9 will give us minus 53 over 24 as our result. Now, we could divide 53 by 24 to write this in the form of a mixed number, right? So, it goes 2 times, which is 48, and 13 take away 8 is 5. So now we get our answer as equal to two holes, right? Remainder goes on the top with 24 in the denominator and the sign is negative. Is that clear to you? So these are the steps involved when we are working with integers, fractions, and mixed numbers. Clear? Now here are questions for you to practice. You can actually pause the video now, answer them. So we have learned all the techniques required to solve such questions. Here is my solution. We need to do 3 minus 1, 7 over 3. So first step, let's write this as 3 over 1 minus 1 times 3 is 3 plus 7 is 10. So we could write this as 10 over 3. Now the common denominator is 3. We'll cross multiply 3 times 3 is 9 minus 10. And we get minus 1 over 3 as our answer. The next question here, we have 2 and minus 4. Let's first write this as uh, 3 over 2. Take care of integers, plus and minus. When multiplied, gives you negative. But this negative will make it positive. Do you see that? So whenever you have two negatives, it becomes positive, right? Even number of negatives is positive. Odd number of negatives, when multiplied, will be negative. So we get plus 3 over 4. The common denominator here is 4, right? So to make 4, we have to multiply by 2, we get minus 6 plus 3. And minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 over 4. So that is our answer. I hope that is absolutely clear, right? These are the last two questions where we have introduced three terms. I would like you to pause the video, practice, and then look into my suggestions. So the very first one, we have three numbers in the denominator, which is 8, 2, and 4. We'll see how to find the lowest common denominator. Well, first step, let's convert them all into improper fractions. So 1 times 8 plus 5, 8 plus 5 is 13, so we get 13 over 8, plus 2 times 2, 4 plus 3 is 7, over 2 minus 4 times 3, 12 plus 1, 13 over 4, correct? Now to find the lowest common denominator, we'll do ladder division, right? So ladder division, uh, 8, 2 and 4, 2 is a common factor, so we get 4, 1 and 2. Now again, 
we could actually divide this these two terms by 2 right so we get 2 times 2 as 4 if you can't divide just write the number as such so we get 1 2 3 3 twos that is 8 so we get LCM as equal to 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 right well it was quite obvious but I wanted to show you the method also as a reminder so 8 is our common denominator writing 8 as the common denominator we can write the numerators as 13 plus this should be multiplied by 4 which is 28 minus that should be multiplied by 2 so we get 26 and now we know 28 minus 26 is 2 positive so we get 15 over 8 as our answer now this should be written as mixed number so 8 goes 1 times so we get this as 1 and then we get 7 over 8 as our final answer is that clear to you right so we get this as equal to 1 7 over 8 now let's do the next one in this particular case uh, let's take care of integers first so we have 2 5 over 9 minus minus makes it plus 1 over 6 minus plus makes it negative 1 2 over 3 right now let's convert that to improper fractions 2, nine, two times 9 is 18 plus 5 is 23 plus 1 over 6 here we have 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3 now in this case what is the common denominator so you could again do the ladder division so when you do the ladder division we have these numbers as 9 6 and 3 you could divide by 3 3 times 3 3 times 2 and 3 times 1 and you get 3 times 3 9 times 2 18 so we get LCM as 18 so sometimes we write LCM sometimes we write LCD but both are same things right so the common denominator is 18 to get 18 I'll multiply this by 2 I get 46 I'll multiply this by 3 and this by 6 right so that's what we get now 46 minus 30 is 16 and plus 3 is 19 so we get 19 over 18 which is one whole 1 over 18 perfect so likewise we could actually solve all similar questions so i hope this concept is absolutely clear so with this we come to an end of this exercise where we took a couple of variations on how to add and subtract fractions and mixed numbers now in the next video i will see rather we will practice how to multiply and divide this combination of fractions I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.